Okay, so let's start our standing deep breathing. This is a 75 minute class. Interlace your fingers, place them here, underneath your chin. Let's empty all the air out of your lungs. Slowly we begin our first inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, dropping the chin to level takes three counts. Four, five, six. Exhale. Inhale. Begin the release slowly. I'll look behind you, elbows forward. Inhale. So taking those nice slow counts to bring your chin to level. There's four, five, six. Exhale. Thigh muscles lifted, toes relaxed. Look behind you if you can. Elbows forward. Otherwise, you just look up. Inhale. Framing the face. Release. Exhale. Inhale. Release, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, okay? Two more. Inhale. Release, exhale. Last one, which is our strongest one. Let's hold it at the top. And now release. And return to your left with us. Let's bring the arms up and the support of the hips up. All right, let's have the arms up over the head. Let's do our little free stretch here for your half moon pose. We will do two sets. Let's uh, go right and left several times. Okay. Let's stop in the middle and let's begin. Inhale. <coughs> Actually, if I'm your mirror image, I'm going to try going the other way. So when I say you just do your normal thing, inhale, reach up. Exhale. So you're going to the right. I think this is correct that we look the same if we were, you know, if you're looking at me. Let's see how still we can be. First set. Excellent. See how still you can be. So really breathing slowly while squeezing your head. Stretching that left side body by reaching to the right. Chin is lifted, forehead is relaxed, mouth and jaw relaxed. As you exhale, you might find a new place to hold. We're almost at the halfway mark. There it is, 30 seconds remaining only. Remember those complete breath cycles. So you follow your inhale, you follow your exhale all the way through. Find your safe edge. You're not going to the point of pain. You're finding a place to be still. Last five seconds and then we'll do a slow release together in five, slow release in four, three, two, one. Inhale very slowly back to the center. Let's do the other side. Good, bend at the elbows for a few seconds. Maybe shake out the head just a little bit. Now inhale, reach up. Exhale, so you're stretching the right side body now, or yes, that's right. Still as you can be, when I do the opposite, it gets a little confusing. Let's find stillness again. We have a minute here, stretching along the right side body, your right side body, finding stillness. Remember, you're not digging your toes into your mat. In fact, you're relaxing your toes. Remember, your foundation is from your hips down. So your thigh muscles are lifted, your weight is evenly distributed on both feet. We still have 30 seconds remaining. Less light between arms and head if you were looking in a mirror, but either way, either way, just squeeze your head. Palms together if you can. Find that stillness last 10 seconds. And then that slow release is important. We don't rush into the releases at all. Let's be still for five, four, three, two, one. Slow motion, inhale back to the center. Now we do our first lifted back. 
So we do first we just begin to release the weight of the head. Okay. So we look up, open the mouth, feel the weight of your head. Aha. Uh -huh. You could just stay right there. Okay, feel the weight of your head. All right. Inhale, reach up a little higher. Now just guide your hips a little bit forward and perhaps just continue to look up. So you can look back and reach back. Daisy Yee, you're not going way back, okay? You're just looking up and reaching up and you're staying there. I can actually see your smile in my, in my mind's eye. Daisy Yee, do not go too deep, okay? Otherwise, we go a little deeper and we remain still for five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the buttocks, squeeze the buttocks as you slowly come back. Inhale, lengthen. Now, if you have any balance issues, just separate your feet a little bit. Go ahead and bend the knees. Let's draw that imaginary line. And lately, what I've been doing since I've been practicing at home wars, just like we would do in vinyasa, so similar anyway, just hold on to the shins. Keep your back flat for a few seconds. And then around the back and release. Okay, so we're hanging from the hips. This is just our free stretch for a forward fold. So keeping the knees bent, letting the arms just dangle. And then what we're going to do is Slide the hands along the back of the legs. We're bringing the stomach really close to the thighs, the chest close to your knees. The head is released. And we can just hold on below the calves or ankles. Eventually, you'll step on your fingers. The weight is forward anyway. Visualize the hips going higher while the forehead is lower toward the ankles. Upper and lower body glued together. So that's the length from the side. You want the upper body really close to the lower body. Touch if you can. And then Work towards lifting the thigh muscles. Let's be still for the last five. See my forehead's not touching my legs. It will on second set. Four, three, two, one. Slow motion release. Keep the knees bent. Reach your head with your arms. Draw the imaginary line all the way back to the top. And then arms to your side. We finished our first set half moon, including that forward fold. Roll the shoulders up back and down. Let's do a second set, okay? Arms up over your head. Okay, again, I think I'm being your mirror image, so I'll go, we'll look the same. Okay, inhale, reach up, and exhale, right back to it, okay? So we're stretching the left side body, reaching to your right. Let's squeeze the head. Let's focus on stillness. We do spend a little less time on second set, you know that. Let's see how still we can be. Deep breath cycles. Enjoy the half moon pose. 10 seconds remaining and we'll do our slow release. Last five. That release is important that it is slow in four, three, two, one. And pump back to the center. Good. Realigning the spine. Bend at the elbows. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right back to it. Now you're stretching the right side body. So we hopefully look the same, right? On your mirror image. 30 seconds remaining here. Nice open chest. So we're trying to open the chest toward the ceiling while hips stay forward and even. 20 seconds remaining here. Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back to the center, okay? So remember, it doesn't have to be a big back bend. It can just be releasing the weight of your head. Sometimes you've probably seen, sometimes it on the bigger towel here, but sometimes I take a towel. So what can I grab here? It helps to work out in Emily's room, so I always have something. Here we go. I'm going to use this little t-shirt as a little prop. So I'm gonna release the weight of the head by putting a towel or in this case, a t-shirt. And that way I can let the head relax a little bit, right? I can even tuck it in. This I do this sometimes. Tuck it in. And then feel the weight of the head. Yes. And then you can just look up and reach up. You can reach up and look behind you without having any stress in the neck. Okay. Going deeper, reach up higher. And then guide the safe foot forward. Still works. Look behind you. Ah. Oh. Good. Last five. Four. Three. Two, 
One and slow, slow, slow motion. Release. No, I don't need this anymore. Good. Inhale and chuck. On the knees. Do your little pre stretch, your little cha cha cha, as we like to say, right? Bend the knees back and forth. Okay. Maybe this time you could do a gentle squat. Maybe you can even give yourself a nice big hug. That's not for everyone. Remember, you can always just hang from the hips. And then to prepare for your forward fold, if you're hanging from the hips, you slide the hands along the back of your legs. If you're preparing for your forward fold by way of squatting, grab the heels, scoop them up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hips toward the ceiling. So hips are going higher. See this on second set, I can touch my full hip and my legs. You get, you know, you go deeper with more ease on second sets. Let's be still for five. Four, three, two, one, slow motion release. Keep your knees slightly bent, squeeze your head with your arms reach all the way up. Arms to your side. Good. Roll the shoulders up back and down. Let's start the awkward pose. Put us in three parts, two sets. Separate your feet about the distance of your arms, which are parallel to the floor. Back up a little bit. So you can see my pretty toe socks. Inhale, full breath. Exhale, exaggerate the buttocks out. So that's right. Sometimes the arms go too high or too low. We're trying to keep them parallel to the floor. Bringing that cobra spine so we exaggerate the buttocks out so we can really lift the arms to the spine backward. Feel your back strengthening and maintaining that flexibility you achieve in these asanas. You're toning your arms and legs in the core. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Let's do the second part. This one can be a bit tricky. So I'm going to bring the, I'm going to turn this way. We're going to bring the heels all the way up. And we're going to inhale and exhale, bring the body down. But remember the heels are up and the ankles are forward and the butt is tucked under. So the butt and the back are against the imaginary wall. The arms are firm. We're breathing slowly. Five, four, legs might quiver a little bit. Three, two, one. Slow motion releases your goal. Softly drop the heels down. We have the third part. Move it off your heels. Okay. Squeeze your knees together. You can turn this way for this part. Inhale. Actually, I could stay this way because the pelvic tilt it was. So you're sliding down. You might stop at a two count, five count, ten count, twelve count. If you're going low, just shy of being seated. I know Amy Swanson it goes all the way down without being seated, just like that. Ooh, that's good. Five. Not to pulse or bounce. Okay. Four. We're coming up slowly in three, two, one. See, I'm working those inner thighs in four. Come up. That's awesome. Let's do a second set. I'll face this way. This time, lock out the arms. Inhale. Exhale, exaggerate the buttocks out. We created that nice C curve to the back. And then we're breathing slowly and being as still as possible for five, four, slow release. Okay, in three, two, one and slow motion release, second part. Heels all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, start to bring the body down. Remember those heels are up. Ankles are forward. Butt is tucked under. Arms are firm. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow motion release. Drop the heels down, third part. Okay, a little bit off your heels. Squeeze the knees together. Inhale. As you exhale, you stop where you need to. So two or three count is great. Just shy of being seated is as low as you want to get, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Work your way back up. And now on to your side. Two breaths into Vasana. Let's do Eagle Pose, Garasana. Arms up over your head. Inhale, exhale. Oh gosh, guys, right elbow underneath the left elbow. I was going to be your mirror image, but I was going to get too confused, so we'll just have to just listen, right? Right elbow underneath the left elbow, sit down, third leg. Inhale, exhale, lift and wrap. Like anything else, we'll all get better at streaming these classes as well. Fine tuning all the differences, such a huge difference. So glad you're all here, though. Really am. Let's lean back, fingers below the nose or lips. And let's be still. We still have our community. 
Thank God. So grateful. Sit down lower if you can. Otherwise, you can stop here. That's fine. You can even do this, right? You can just do this. It's fine. Whatever works for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's reverse out of it. Let's do the other side. Inhale. Exhale, left elbow underneath the right elbow. Sit down again. Inhale, exhale, lift and wrap. Let's be still. Again, you might be here, and that's fine. Sometimes we lean up against the wall, right? We're worried about the balance. We can lean up against the wall. That's fine, too. That works. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse. Let's do a second set. Arms up over the head again. Exhale, right elbow to meet the left elbow. Sit down again. Inhale, exhale, lift and wrap. So again, you might be here, you might be leaning up against the wall, whatever works, just breathe. All the major joints centered, five, four, three, two, one, release. Let's do the other side, inhale, exhale, left elbow, right the right elbow, sit down. Sometimes I have that big toe resting here for a second, that helps, reminds us uh, to breathe slowly, inhale as you're exhaling, lift your mat. Just the upper part, great. Tuck the toes around the calf or ankle if you can. Squeezing arms and legs against each other. More advanced, you sit down lower. Mindful of your knees, be still wherever you are. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms to your side. Nice, normally take a sip of water. Yeah, we'll just keep moving. You guys take a sip whenever you want. Uh, you know what to do. Hydrate yourself. Take care of yourself. I'm going to set up our standing head to knee pose two sets right now. Inhale, exhale. Again, if you were worried about your balance or you, you're doing all this, you can lean up against a, a door for a few seconds or if you need to, just have the wall close to you if you need it. Okay, a lot of balance postures. Inhale, exhale, hold the leg below the knee. That's a good start. Inhale again, as you're exhaling, this is when you're more advanced, you're ready to pick up your foot. You're ready to lower the upper body just a little bit so your thigh muscle is closer to the parallel line. It could be a little higher, but you definitely don't want to lower than the parallel line. Inhale, exhale, stay here or inhale and use your exhale to extend your heel, right heel forward, right leg is bent at the knee for a while. Oh, again, one day I'll be your mirror image and I'll start the other side. Anyway, let's just be still here. We're halfway through. First set's a minute. More advanced, you're rounding the upper body. You're bringing your elbow not only below the calf muscle, but you're tucking your chin to your chest and bringing the forward to the knee. What's the name of the asana? Stepping head to knee bones. So that's forehead to knee, if you can do it. Otherwise, just be still in one place, wherever you are. We've got 10 seconds for that. Let's do the last five together. Four, three, Two, one, and release it. Ah, oh. slow motion, come back to your toes. Okay, let's do the other side. Inhale, exhale, left leg up. So stay here, this is fine. Again, you could be leaning against the wall. Mm -hmm. Inhale, exhale. This is typically where we begin this asana. We typically stay here for a while. Work on your hip alignment, work on your balance, work on your, your breath cycle, be still in one place. More advanced, inhale, exhale, pick up your foot. Stay here or inhale, exhale, your left heel forward. Left leg is bent at the knee for a while until you can extend that heel. So much so that your thigh muscle will end up being lifted on this left leg and kicked out. Last half, let's find stillness here. Standing into knee pose. Dhanja Yamana, Janashirasana. Such a beautiful asana. Uh, balance, developing strength, flexibility focus. Last 10 seconds. So either stay where you are, maybe you're ready to round the upper body, bring the elbows below the calf muscle, finally bringing the chin to the chest, forehead to the knee, five, four, three, two, one. 
and release. Slow motion release. Take your time, keep your knees slightly bent, come up and return to the mountain pose. Very good. Second set, standing hip to deep pose. Let's do it. Inhale, we'll set it up again by bringing the right leg up. Yes, inhale, exhale, begin. So you can pick up the foot straight away. Others will sit here, palms facing your hands on hips is fine. Leg below the knee or leaning up against the wall. Inhale, exhale, feel forward. So you're more advanced. Perhaps you already have gone towards, or maybe you're at the full expression of this asana. Elbows below the calf muscle and forehead to the knee. We still have 15 seconds remaining. Breathing slowly wherever you are. Let's be still together for five. Four, three, two, one, and release. Excellent. To the other side. Standing head underneath those final side. Inhale. Exhale, left leg up. Inhale and exhale. Begin. Again, beginning for you. Hands on hips, palms face the mirror, leaning up against the door. This is typically where we start holding the leg below the knee with those interlaced fingers. More advanced, you're holding your foot for a while, or perhaps you are kicking slowly, you're extending that heel forward. Left leg is bent at the knee for a while. This is our final side. Breathing slowly with that hip alignment. Really key to help you balance, but also to be safe. Puts too much pressure on your ankle and your knee and your hip if your left hip is higher than the right. Last 10 seconds. Breathing slowly. Five counts remaining. Here it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Return to your mountain pose. All right, standing bow pulling pose. I'm going to try doing the mirror image thing for you. So you guys bring your, normally I bring my right, yeah, you just listen to bring your right arm up. Or, yeah, okay. Bring your uh, left arm up. It's my right, but okay, we'll worry about you guys only. I'm going to try to do the very average. It's a little tricky. It's probably good for my brain, right? So inhale, exhale, grab your right foot. So I'm doing the opposite. So we look, hopefully look the same in this asana. We have a minute to practice. If you're new at all this, just stay here. Again, you could lean up against uh, a door or a wall. Stay there. That's a good thing. Just stay right there. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, start to you can lead with the kick, and then you follow with the upper body. We don't do it all at once. We typically kick, softly come down, and then we we do want this the front arm to be above a, a parallel line. And then we want to feel the even pressure in the hand for the continuous kick. We're right at the 30 second mark. So we're doing a minute, so we still have now just 25 seconds remaining. All right. Shoulders going back. Your hip is coming down. 10 seconds here. Five. One day the toes will be in the middle of your head if you're looking in a mirror. Four, three, two, one. Slow motion release, okay? And then return to your mountain pose. Roll the shoulders up back and down. Let's do the other side. Okay, so the elbows at your side body, inhale. Grabbing the foot or the just below the toes is fine. Good start. Eventually, you have the ankle. Remember, I'm not doing the outside. I'm trying to grab from the inside. A little tricky. You can you can lean the other arm on a wall or something. Get used to that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we kick to begin, and we softly start to come down with the upper body. So again, the breath is always the most important ingredient. As you slow the breath, you'll have more energy, you'll have more confidence, better balance, better focus. You don't want to stop, start, on, off. Once you've launched into your asana, you want it to kick evenly, just like you reach continuously, you kick evenly and continuously as well. We're past half.
last quarter of the pose. Last five, kick and reach and hold and don't forget to breathe slowly, three, two, one, and that's the motion release. And roll the shoulders up back and down. Two breaths into Dasana. Second set. Let's do a second set, okay? Again, I'm trying to be your mirror image here. Inhale, exhale, bend that back leg to grab the foot. The ankle is more advanced, so just below the toes, but not from the outside if you can help it. Sometimes if you'd start from the outside, then we did the famous switcheroo. Yeah, that can be, especially if you're new at all this. And again, you can always lean up against something to balance. Inhale, reach up. Either stay here in your foundation or maybe they can follow with the upper body. Shoulder is going back. The hip is coming down. So we're carving out the waist, right? Any more flexibility through the hips, the back, the shoulders. So 30 seconds. Let's enjoy going a little deeper, perhaps. Fifteen seconds. Let's turn it on for the last five counts. Here it is five, four, three, two, one. Release. Up. Roll the shoulders up back and down. One more side. Stretch up. Put the fingertips here towards the ceiling. And remember, we're not twisting the wrists, we're inhaling and grabbing again. If you have to grab on the outside, it's okay. You can even just stay there as long as you just stay in your front. Maybe you want to kick if you can help it, but that hold. Try to do the switch. Okay, unless you have something unique going on with your shoulders, we try to grab from the inside if you can. Okay, inhale, reach up. Exhale, begin. So, this is the final side for standing bow. You still have 30 seconds, so find a place to be still where you are safe and you are challenged. Remember to breathe slowly. Anybody can lose the balance. 20 seconds remain. You want to find your safe edge. Fifteen seconds. Let's do it. Five, four. Three, two, one. Try to kick the way out of it, reverse out of the balance. Roll the shoulders up back and down. Let's get ready for balancing stick. Standing at the back of your mat. Let's bring your arms up. Inhale, reach up. Let's do the right foot. Step forward, inhale, exhale, and you're tilting towards the T. And if you're doing this, probably you can't see me anyway, but I want you to really focus on keeping that left hip in with the right. I want you to squeeze your ears with your arms. And I want you to reach forward with your fingertips as you reach back with your toes. Okay, so it could be a slight tilt if you're new at all this. Okay, you don't go all the way to that capital T shape. Much more advanced. So slight tilt is fine. Let's squeeze the head five, four. We'll do a slow release in three, two, one, and slow motion release. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lengthen. We will step forward with that left foot. Inhale and exhale, tilt towards the OT. Remember, if you're new, just a slight tilt is fine. That's a lot of balance there. You can even hover the back toes if you need to. No problem. Look ahead and be still for five, four, three, six, two, one, and release. Arms to your side. Let's do a second set. Some of you working on single leg splits, you can do that. Balancing stick, second set, inhale. Right foot steps forward, inhale. Exhale, tilt towards your capital T. Again, if you're new at all this, just a slight tilt. For your single leg splits, your fingertips touch your mat, and then you'll scoop up the, below the calf muscle with the right hand. Eventually you'll do this with both hands, believe it or not. I'm not ready for that yet. 
that I can hold it with my right hand and I can bring the left leg straight up, forehead on the knee, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, and we have one more side. Inhale, reach up. Left foot step forward. Inhale. Exhale, you're tilting towards your capital T for your balancing stick, or you're doing your single leg splits. Fingertips initially touch your towel. You will scoop up the calf muscle and blow. Forehead on the knee. Eventually, you'll hold with both hands. Amazing. I look forward to that. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Awesome. Arms to your side. Good. Let's face this way for your separate leg stretch. Okay, arms up over your head. Inhale, reach up. Step to your legs and exhale. Arms to your side. Inhale, exhale slowly. Bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees. Keep your back flat, especially if you're used to, you know, hotter room, right? Hotter studio. I'm calling this my studio floor. Can you believe it? Ah. <laughs> okay, so knee presence, yes? Toes in, back flat. Stay here. Nice. More flexible. You can have your forearms here. Hands underneath the heels and grab the low back. Calves and ankles. Go the way forward. Remember, keep the knees bent for a while. You'll still work with those hamstrings and you get a good stretch. I just don't want you to insist on lifting thigh muscles here. Not yet. Never insist on you. Let's be still for five. Four, you can round out of this one in three, two, one. So round out of it, a little safer than a flat back. Right knee's left arm to your side. Let's do it again, arms up over there. Inhale, step to your right as you exhale. A little more fluid, inhale, arms back, bend your knees down. Where you can, heels, forearms, fingertips is great. Yeah? This feels good. Back flat, back flat, back flat. Oops, stretch them out. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, there you go. Let's be still for the last five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it's good. So right knee's left arm to your side. Great. So next is triangle pose, Trikonasana. Arms up over the head. Inhale. Step to your right as you exhale. Great. Turn your feet. Right foot's pointing forward. Left toes are angled. Inhale. As you exhale, lunge, reach behind you. Spine is centered. Chest is open by bringing the arms back. Inhale. Exhale, windmill the arms. Reach up with that left hand, down with the right. Beautiful twist is present here. You don't have to look up if it bothers your neck, just look ahead. We take Maria's Iyengar class, she always has us look ahead in her in the triangle that we do in, in Iyengar. Different triangles. We're trying to get the thigh muscle parallel, working toward that parallel one. Last five for the thigh muscle, that is four, three, one day, two, one. Arms lead with the belly, slowly right foot pushes the right leg straight. Rotate the feet. Right foot's pointing straight, right toes are angled, inhale. To face that front left heel, we as we exhale, lunge, we reach to the right, center your spine. Inhale and exhale on your left. You want to reach in both directions if you can. Keep that even pressure on that left forearm with your left knee. Let's enjoy the stillness of this triangle pose. Trikonasana. So I'm more comfortable looking ahead than I am looking up. So that's what I'm doing. Right hip is forward, left shoulder is forward. So 15 seconds. Let's be still. Remember that slow release always is good. Four, three, two, one. Arms lead with the release. Now left foot slowly pushes the left leg straight. You can always walk that left foot in, heel toe, heel toe. Right knee's left arm to your side. Two breaths into that side. Really great. Let's do a second set trick and also then try both arms. Inhale, reach up. Step to your right, arms to your side, turn your feet, 
Inhale. As you exhale, lunge, you don't have to go all the way. You can just do a slight, you know, if I was going this way, but you can just stop here. Okay. Inhale, exhale, turn the arms. More advanced. So you see, we have the different levels. Looking ahead is great. Nice, even pressure on the right forearm with your right knee. Last 15 seconds. Enjoy being in this beautiful asana. Last five, four, three, two, one. Arms away to the release. Slowly right foot pushes the right leg straight. Let's rotate the feet. Inhale. As you exhale, lunge. Reach behind you. Spine is centered. Chest is open. Inhale. Exhale on the way. Again, you might be here. Here, there are different levels. You just change the distance between your feet. A little more distance if you're more advanced, a little less distance, working toward that goal of the, bringing that thigh muscle to, uh, closer to the parallel line. And again, you don't have to look up. Go ahead. Last five seconds. Very shortly, just listen to the sound of your breath, this twist you've created from the placement of your foot. Nice, even pressure on that left forearm with your left knee. Here it is, last five, four, love the twist, three, that is present in this asana, two, one, arms lead with the release, left, it's pushing the left leg straight, so toady for the legs, right knees left, arms to your side. Separate leg stretch, forehead to knee, arms up over your head, hands in prayer, thumbs are crossed, inhale, reach up, step to your right. Rotate the back left foot front right. Spread your hips. Even, right? Hips are not facing to the side, they're facing forward. Inhale. Tuck your chin in. Back foot can be to the left, okay? That'll help the balance. Bring the forehead to the knee. As close as you can. It might not touch, and that's okay. Stay with it. We'll do two sets, okay? Five, four, three, three, four, one, release. Slow motion release, okay? Very good. Rotate, first this way, this side, and then rotate. So we're facing the opposite direction now. Try to square the hips, and then that right foot can be to the right so that the balance is a little easier, and it's easier to square the hips. Reach up, let's get that chin to tuck in. Slow motion, forehead to knee. Hi. Forehead to knee. Five. It's supposed to be a little, a little uncomfortable in your throat. Feeling your thyroid. We're stretching out the calf muscle in the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Release slowly. Now, you know, yoga. All oh, yoga. Works you from the inside out. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Second set. A little more fluid. Second set. Inhale. Reach up. Step to the right. We're not rushing. We're just more fluid. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Round down. Let that chin tucked in. Forward on the knee. More advanced. Hands are in prayer position. Don't worry about though. If you're new at this, just use your fingertips to help you balance and help you assist you with bringing the forward up on the knee. So hands in prayer is more advanced. You don't have to do that to the five, four. Three, two, one, release the head first, arms and head will come up together. There you go. Rotate, we face the side. And now we face the opposite side. Inhale. Chin is tucked, forehead to knee. There you go. Fingertips or prayer. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Good. And right knees, left arm to your side. Good. We are ready for our tree and toe, which we blend. Inhale, exhale again. If you're new to this, just use a wall. Inhale, exhale, bring your foot up. Okay? Lean up against the wall. Maybe you'd like to do this other style of tree. Or we, this is balance, can be a little tricky too. 
bringing the foot to the inner thigh or even the calf muscle. Another trick is to have the ball of your foot rest beside your left ankle. And the right heel would be above that left ankle. So that's another tree. It's a simple tree, but it works. It's nice. We'll be here for another 10 seconds before we go on to toe step. So either stay in your tree, and we'll stay here for another five seconds, or we'll work on our toes. So either stay in your tree, or you're starting to hinge from your hips. Maybe lower the foot a little bit, or if you have this style of tree, see if you can bend the left leg and really have that figure four steady pigeon. And again, you could lean up against the door or the wall for this, because that's nice, right? You're really breathing into the hip. Just be mindful of the knee, okay? If you can easily touch your towel, right? I like to use my water bottle or my water. It's a trick, you know? What I do is I bring the weight to the fingertips, I bend the left leg, then I hold onto my water bottle or a block. You could use a blocker. This is the perfect height for me, so I love this water bottle for lots of reasons. But that way I can balance, breathe it into the hip. And I'm mindful of that right knee. Let's uh, stay here for five. Tree or toe, that is four, three, two, one. Now to release, be reverse. And as we return to the tree briefly, and then we all release together. Carefully. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Tree and toe, inhale, or just tree. Exhale. You lean up against a door or wall. Maybe you're satisfied with just staying in your tree here. You can work on your everyday posture in tree. Spine is lifted, shoulders are back and down. Staying in tree or working on your toe. So I bend the right leg, I lower the foot. I'm satisfied with my figure four. Perfect, stay here, going deeper. Fingertips touch your mat. Bring the weight into the fingertips as you bend the right leg at the knee. Again, I use my water bottle. Maybe you guys have a block or a water bottle yourself. Maybe you don't need it. It's good. That hip, you know, the resistance of the hip melts away with regular practice. We'll be here for another 10 seconds. Tree or toe, breathe into those areas or enjoy that beautiful posture in your tree. Last four, three, two, one. Reversing slowly out of your toe if you're in toe. Let's return to the tree. And we'll all release this tree together nicely. Wonderful steady series. Let's have a sip of water if you like. And let's relax in our shavasana. Look at my toe. Okay, so just relax in your Shavasana. Maybe I should face this way for this one. Huh? Getting used to all this stuff. Okay. All right, shoulder blades together underneath you, palms face up. Take a few breaths. And then let's just go ahead and begin this next asana for Vanuatasa. Let's bring the right knee in towards the right shoulder. The grip is below the knee as you know it. Inhale, use your exhale to bring the knee towards the shoulder and hold. So really use your, the strength of your arms, the power of your breath. You don't have to worry about your balance. Okay, five, four, three, take it to that safe edge. Three, two, one, and release. Reverse out of it. To the left, bring the left leg up. Interlace fingers, inhale. Exhale the knee toward the shoulder and hold. Five, keep your head down. Four, three, two, one, release. Okay, now both knees up to your chest. Some of you grab the elbows, others will just grab a couple fingers. Maybe grab the wrist. One of the reasons I don't like to grab the elbows on my first set is because I can't keep my head down. So that's why. You can actually bring a thicker towel here. Put underneath your head will help. Or yeah, place. Let's be still in one place for five, four, three, two, one. To release, we bring the legs through with your hands underneath the hips. And we can always bend the knees and then just relax. 
in the ocean on this map. Let's do a second set, a little more fluid in second set, okay? Inhale, exhale, let's bring the knee to the shoulder. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow motion release. Inhale as you exhale, bring the knee toward the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it. Very good. Again, maybe bring the heels to the hips first, and then one knee at a time. Maybe second set, you can grab the elbows. No rush. Try to keep the shoulders close to the mat. Head on your mat, chin toward the chest, and be still for five, four, three, two, one. Again, legs go straight in the air, hands underneath the hips, flex the feet and lower the legs, bend the knees if you need to, and then just relax. We're doing our first sit up if you're doing sit ups. If you're not doing sit ups, just turn it around and get ready for your cobra. If you're doing sit ups, arms up over the head and down. Come on up and double exhale. Shh, shh. Cobra pose. Cobra pose, two sets. Hands underneath the shoulders. You can see me at the deep end, okay? Do we adjust that a little bit? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't want it to fall. I think we're good. Hands underneath the shoulders, empty all the air out of your lungs, and let's inhale your way up. Let's do it. Inhale up. Some of the weights in your hands. Maybe not all the way. They're not. Make sure the shoulders have inclined toward the ears. Drop the shoulders down. Feet are close together. Five. Kneecaps lifted. Four. Tops of the feet on the mat. Two. One more slow D. And left ear. Palms face up. Let's do a second set. Hands up, this is Cobra. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale your way up. Good. Hips down though, hips down, upper body up. Feel the back strengthening, so we make stronger and more flexible Cobra. Five. Four, three, two, one. That slow release is important. Like Chaturanga, you're slowly lowering. It's not a sudden release. And then right here, get off it. All right. Half locust pose. Luckily, we're only doing one set. <laughs> Arms underneath the body. Ah, we'll make it a really good one, okay? One leg at a time, then both legs. Inhale, exhale, right leg up. You want to really reach behind you. Reach behind you. You want to point the toes and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Inhale, exhale, left leg up. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Now they're forward on your mat. Into your fingers towards your knees, okay? And that'll help. Let's do it. Both legs are coming up. Inhale, exhale, both legs up. And count. I know it's a challenge. Nine, eight, and you committed. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Ah, arms out of there. Left ear for your shavasana. All right, we are ready to go right into our full locust pose. We will do two sets, okay? So let's set that up. Let's empty all the air out of your lungs and let's inhale your way up. That is, arms and legs up. Keep that lift, maybe arms up higher, maybe legs up higher as well. There it is, five, four, three, two, one, and lower, right here. Remember the right here. Yes, we get a nice even stretch. If it's not your right ear, it's your right cheekbone. Bend with the elbows. Palms face up. This is your mini meditation. You work hard in this class. So you do want to honor your 
Shavasana. So let's do that second set, full of those steps, okay? Let's again empty all the air out of your lungs. And let's inhale your way up. Big in. Inhale. Up. Arms up maybe higher, maybe legs up higher. Keep that lift. Keep the breath moving. Very simple uh, asana, this beautiful focus pose. It's really wonderful to strengthen your back, tone the arms, tone the entire body. Last one, four, three, two, one, and lower left ear. This is your mini shavasana. Good. Let's get ready for our floor bow pose. If you're not used to doing this or for whatever reason, you want to just grab one foot and have the opposite arm stretch forward. That feels really good. I do that often, actually. It's nice. And we'll balance you out on the second set. If you are grabbing both feet, let's do that. You might just stay right there. Just get used to holding the feet if you're new with that. Do not force this, please. Inhale. Slow motion. You can inhale into it or exhale into it, but I want you to be still now that you have found a place to be still. So your knees and ankles line up with your shoulders to the best of your ability. It's the breath and the continuous, even pressure you have on your hands from the continuous kick. Not a stop start on off kick, but even pressure. And really, it is the breath. Let's be still. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three. You don't have to look at two, one, and lower. Right here. Relax. Very good. Let's do it again, second set. For your floor bow, we have a second set. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Good. Excellent. We still have 10 seconds. Really work it by breathing and being still. And of course, if you were doing the opposite arm, you would do the opposite foot, opposite arm five. Four, you don't have to look up. Three, two, one, lower slow knee, left ear. For your shavasana. Good. Let's, uh, let's bring the hands underneath the shoulder. Let's do this slowly, this release. Inhale, very slowly as you exhale, we're coming into our upward dog. So we're just gonna get a nice little stretch. You can look ahead or you can look up, it feels good. Just enjoy that stretch. Let's come into a wide knee child's pose. Before we go on to our next asana, let's do the Vajrasana. Start leaning with the forearms, sit back toward the heels or in between the heels, and then just take a few breaths in this wide knee child. Good. Now just very slowly, let's just walk, right? Our knees. Pull to the top of your mat. I'm going to move the calf muscles up and out of the way. I'm going to sit between the heels. I can do that. Not everybody can. So what you do is you use your hands beside you and sit toward the heels. With your hands in fist position, and that's fine. Stay there, absolutely perfect. Easy for you. You're sitting between the heels, your feet are right alongside your hips, you drop the elbows. Still comfortable, widen the elbows. This is not for everyone. Shoulders on the mat and pull the elbows back. Excellent. Back and down. Five, four, three. Two, one. Careful release. Slow motion release. We're just doing one of those, okay? So one hand behind, one hand in front. There you go. And then remember your shavasana. So take turns, turning around the other way. Two breaths here. Good. Let's do our sit-up if you're doing sit-ups. Otherwise, we'll meet in our half for this uh, setup. For the sit-up, arms up over the head. Okay? Come on up and double exhale. So, half tortoise setup. You sit toward the heels. 
I like to have a little towel there so my forehead gets closer to touching that towel, or it doesn't have to touch. Arms are going down. This is half toward this first set. We will do two sets. Inhale, lengthen. Very slowly. Some of us will need to round into this for a while, and that's okay. I'd rather that than have you suddenly flop and land. No. Round as needed. Touch the uh, mat with your hands, your fingers. Slide forward. Some of you will drop the head. Others will not. Okay. Try to keep the hips close to the heels. Stretch forward. A little more advanced, you're tilting the wrist up off the mat. Dropping the head, forehead will touch one day. The mat. Let's be still for five, four, three, two, one. Now, this release, slow motion. You can round out of it, flat back some more advanced. There you go. Arms to your side. Turn around, relax. Shavasana. Let's do our sit up, arms up. Come on up. Second set, half twist. So we sit on the heels on your up. Inhale. Slow motion. Good. Keeping hips on heels. Stretch forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Trying to keep the hips close to the heels. Let's engage. Throw all that imaginary line back to the top arms to your side. Turn around, relax. Shavasana. You need your Shavasana. No camels holding your legs. And we'll do two sets of camel. Take a few breaths. All right. Here is your one set up. Arms up. Come on up. You don't have to do sit ups. Come on up. And exhale. Shh. Shh. All right. Take a point. All right, so fold the mat if you would like to have a little more support for your knees. And we'll push in there. If you have a thick mat, you don't need to fold the mat. Hands behind you. So my knees are about the distance of the hips. Heels are a little closer than the knees are. There's no rush to grab the heels. I show you from the side. This is a good start to camel. When you guide your hips forward, so let's do that together. Inhale, guide your hips forward, drop your head back carefully, and then just stay. You can do anything while you do that. Okay. More advanced. You're gonna grab your heels. Look up or back. Remember, be mindful that you're not forcing anything. There for another ten seconds. We will do two sets. Actually, I just have my fingertips touching my heels. Five, four, so I don't want to lean back. Three, two, one. Now, the hands return to the hips. Head, chin comes back to level. Sit back on the heels. Turn around. Relax. And you worship us now. Let's do a second set first. The sit up for camel pose. I'm just over there. Exhale. Shh. Shh. Okay. Camel pose. Okay, it's all face the, this way, but the knees are definitely wider. All right. I think I should face this way if you guys can see it better. Knees a little wider, second set. Almost we'll see my toes. Inhale. Guide your hips forward. There is compression, so you don't rush. Now, with the knees wider, I can grab my heels with my entire. Still keeping the hips at least as forward as the knees. Ah. Second set. Beautiful. I can't look toward the camera, it wouldn't be good for my neck. Keep the hips forward. Last 10 seconds. This is Camel's second set. Five, four, three, two, one, and slow motion release. You want to definitely bring that chin back to level slowly, sit back on the heels, which releases some of that compression we had. We'll stretch it all out and grab it, but let's first enjoy our shavasana. Rabbit pose, let's do it. Arms up over the head first to sit up if you do it. Sit ups, inhale. Come on up. 
and double exhale. Great. Okay, so rabbit pose. We do this wrapping of the towel around the feet just so that we can actually grab the heels through the towel. Try not to grab the towel instead of the heels, rather the thumbs on the outside of the heels. And now this is another trick that helps. Inhale. Before you exhale, bring your back, get that chin really tucked in, okay? Slow motion, round out, inhale, and now roll forward, holding onto those heels, stretch the back. So you see we have that compression with camel, and now we have this opportunity to stretch the back, the extension. Perfect. Perfect to stretch the back after camel like this. Five, four, three, two, one, slow motion, really, so we really intentionally rebuild the spine slowly, chin comes up off the chest last, and turn around, relax, Shavasana, we'll do a second set, but first, Shavasana. That's great. Let's do our sit up, arms up over the head, let's get the head coming up, double exhale, great, right, second set. And set four rabbit bows. Again, wrapping the towel around your heels. Set that down. If you often grab the left foot first, grab the opposite. Don't always do the same. Switch it up. Inhale. Put your chin in. Down. Inhale again. And exhale. Roll forward. Stretch the back. Five, four, three. Two, one, slow motion release. Chin comes up off your chest last. And turn around, relax. For your Shavasana. Terrific. Arms up over the head for your setup. Seated separate leg stretch, coming up. Come on up and double legs up. Now, right leg is out. Left foot is on the inside of your right thigh, hands in the center. Inhale, push it back up a bit. Inhale, turn, rebend the right leg, grab the foot, stay here. So you can slide the heel out. Try not to pulse or bounce, okay? We will do two sets here. So just keep breathing. Still at 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Very good. Well, let's set up the other side. So left leg out and right foot in. Inhale. Turn to face your outstretched left leg. Okay. And then just stay here. Of course, you can always stay here. You can then be bent and holding the ball of your foot. Sorry. More advanced, you slide the heel out. Try to keep your shoulders even over this uh, left leg that you're stretching, this beautiful stretch. Mm -hmm. After even shoulders, still at 15 seconds remaining, not the pulse or bounce. Always love this stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. And we, we do like to do a sit up. In between, if you do a sit up. So we can do that now. We'll round down with the inhale, we'll come right back up, double right exhale, slide your left fingers back, grab your feet, inhale. As you exhale, keep the back flat. So I turn this way. You can see I'm not rounding the back, I'm keeping the back flat. Inhale, exhale. So we get that nice stretch for the hamstring, but I also keep the back flat. Okay, three more rounds. Inhale, exhale. So very subtle. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath, and exhale. Good, let's do it again, second set. Right leg out, right leg out. You can do pigeon or splits or a straddle, no, no problem. Inhale, exhale, begin. We like to give you the option anyway, but now you can do whatever you want, huh? Okay, let's do this. Nice stretch.
15 seconds remain. And maybe your knees. Good job. Switching sides. Inhale. Turn. Forehead to knee. Still 10 seconds. Love this stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Let's do another sit up, okay? Round down, inhale. Hello, right back up. Exhale. Shh, shh. Grab the feet. Inhale. Exhale. So your back is flat. Inhale. Exhale. Stay right here. Three more breath cycles. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breath cycles. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. And exhale. Good job. Release it. Let's go right into your spinal twist. We'll just either keep the left leg straight or you'll bend the left leg. Either way, the right heel's at the corner of your left knee. Now we'll try not to sit onto that heel. Sometimes we do. It's okay. Right hands behind you, left arm stretches up with the inhale, over with the exhale. If you're using your entire arm, you can grab the kneecap. If not, just use your elbow with your hand. Inhale, exhale, so your twist, your long neck, long spine. Again, try not to sit onto that uh, left heel. In this case, inhale, exhale, twist. Two more breath cycles this side, inhale. Long neck, long spine, exhale, twist. One more breath, and exhale, twist. But remember, it's a slow motion release, especially if you're not, you know, the room's not so hot. Take your time. Setting up the other side. Left heel's at the corner of your right knee. You can certainly do this with your right leg straight. No problem. Okay, so whatever feels better for you, safer for you. Right arm stretches up and over, grabbing the kneecap, and trying not to sit under that uh, right heel. Inhale. Exhale, your twist. Good. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Two more breath cycles, inhale, exhale, twist. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, twist. Nice, reverse out of it. Counter stretch if you need, because that feels nice. All right, relax in your back one more time just to realign your spine. We'll do our sit up, arms up, come on up, and double exhale. Shh, shh. Final breathing. Final breathing, just one set, 60 exhalations. Then we'll take 10 slow deep breaths together and then I'll unmute and then we'll say hello and all the rest, okay? So let's do that one set of final breathing, drop your pop in. Follow my lead, please, ready? And begin. Let's take, take those slow, deep breath cycles together. I'll breathe nice and loud so you can follow me. And then I'll unmute and then we'll have a little, uh, just a little hello. Okay, so once again, close the eyes. Shoulder blades together underneath you. Palms face up. Take a few deep breaths here. So we're going to do that eight more times. Slow the breath. Big long deep inhales, follow that exhale.
Lift off as much as you can. Exhale completely. Just four more breaths like that. Last and deepest breath right now. Hold it a few seconds. And let it go. Awesome. I'm going to unmute and say hello. Wow. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay. Unmute all. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Class. Love it. Really great. Thank, Thank you for you. Keep, keep track of it. the YHC um, website because we're really are adding more classes and more teachers and everything. Okay, we're doing the best we can. So, you know, little by little, okay? We'll, we'll get better at all this. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Regina. Thanks, Bye. Regina. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thanks, Regina. Thank you. Oh, you. Oh, awesome. you. Oh, awesome. Yay. Okay. Hey, thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a beautiful Saturday. Do we even know what day it is some days? I tell you. <laughs> I, <know>. I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought Friday, was, I thought Thursday was Friday. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. But anyway. Hey, we're here and we're, all, we're, we're, we're here. We're still a community. This is the most awesome thing. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and I love you, and I'll see you hopefully very soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care.